this is what did not make the cut as our top story. The 49ers released offensive tackle Jonathan Martin. Oh. Broncos looking for an offensive tackle. Should they even give this guy a look? I don't think so. Uh, they just there's enough film now to show that I don't know that he's an NFL player. Uh, I mean, the controversy doesn't bother me at all, and what right. he went through was just uh, despicable. And he should be credited for being involved, at least standing up and creating awareness to the issue. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, wrote yeah. extensively on this yeah. bullying in the locker room. I'm just not sure he can play. He's going to have to find a coach that knows him, whether it's one of the Harbaugh's, uh, maybe an Indy, whether yeah. there's a coach. He's going to have to find a coach that knows him and remembers who he was at Stanford when he was right. a top prospect. No, the one uh, good thing he would have if he came here is we're talking about a winning culture we're talking about a culture that that they don't care if he was the guy bullied or the bully right. or whatever they just care if he can play football because we're trying to win a super bowl here so yeah i think he would be a better fit here than a jacksonville or something like that but i think it really it doesn't come down to who he was in the newspapers with the bully stuff it comes down to can he block peyton manning and we we i don't think he can uh, from what we're reading and things like that but really it comes down to elway and those guys yeah do you think he has a scarlet letter on him Maybe for a team like Jacksonville. I mean, I'm not trying to pick on Jacksonville as the, the first worst team I could pick. Okay, I, th this, I don't want to get in trouble for saying this. But you're going to say it. But I'm going to say it anyway. I don't know if Michael Sam can play or not. And people say that he can't play. But the fact that he's openly gay mm. scares people. He's weak. He's soft. He's gay. Right? Jonathan Martin right. couldn't stand up to the bully. Right. He's weak. He's soft. I think... They're not in. They're not on the same side of the rowboat, but in some ways, in a big, tough, manly sport, yeah. they're in the same rowboat, aren't they? A little bit. I mean, I definitely see what you're saying. I feel like with with Martin, notably though, if he can block, they don't. Again, they don't care what happened with Richie Incognito. If he can help this team, uh, I think I think people will overlook any any idea. Oh, maybe he's soft because he, you know, acted the way he did. Uh, I feel like maybe in an older era. Uh, and maybe even five, ten years ago, what you just said there definitely will play into it more. Now, I love Michael Sam. I, I went to Missouri, and I'm, and I'm an advocate for gay people, but his 40 time was like 9.3 or something like that. Um, so, I, I mean, I, it, it's weird because he won the SEC Co-Defensive Player of the Year. Normally that dude is a first-round pick. Mosley, the other guy, was right. first-round pick. Shane Ray is going to be a first-round pick Yeah, this yeah, year. another Missouri player. Uh, but when you, when you, for whatever reason, Michael Sam was, maybe he's like Tim Tebow. He was amazing in college and just didn't have the right skill set to play in the pros. I, I think it's more of that than, pe maybe I'm being crazy naive, but I think it's more of that than people saying, oh, we can't have a gay man in our locker room. Having gone back to covering the NFL from covering baseball, Eric, the one thing the NFL cannot stand, distraction. That's and they true. they will eliminate distraction at all costs. Yeah. And I do think Michael Sam should be in the league. I saw enough guys going in and out of the Broncos in terms yeah. of practice squad guys. The idea he wasn't on a practice squad last year amazed me, honestly. Yeah. You're talking about a guy who can rush the passer. He has one specific skill. I can't believe that all those practice squad players were better than him. There's 10 on practice squad now. Right. In the case of Martin, I, I think in his issue, he's had a chance to play, and I'm not sure he can play right. at this level. In Sam's case, it just it's a distraction issue. And then you know, and then when he goes on dancing, he feeds it by you know he goes on dancing the stars. He's got to make income at some point when you're right. not in the league. Right. But it just feeds the self fulfilling prophecy of like that's who he is. It's about him. It's like well. It's about him because he's not in the league. I mean, at some point he's got to make an income. Right. So it's almost like they forced him into actions he would have preferred to be a football player. I'd love to get, see him get in a camp where he fits because mm -hmm. the Rams were never a good fit for him. Their defense was loaded. He was right. never going to make that team. Yeah. So I'd love to see if he got in a camp where there was a legitimate need at, at end rusher to mm -hmm. see if he'd have a chance to make a team. Let's take a closer look at this just for a second. Um, I think Michael Sam was the wrong guy to be – the first one in line. Why is that? I think Jason Collins was the first one to be in the front of the line. What do you mean, just saying that Sam was first? Saying that oh, they okay. were gay. You can make the case that Chris Borland had a right to be near the front of the line or should have been near the front of the line. He was a really good player right. with the San Francisco 49ers. And of course, I'm talking about the concussion stuff. Mm -hmm. And maybe other people will say, you know, maybe I'll retire because I don't want to have concussions. Mm -hmm. I say Michael Sam was the wrong guy to come out. I think it's great that he came out. Right, right, right. Don't get me wrong. Right, right, right. But you need a guy who is a player. Well, they thought he was SEC 
co-defensive player of the year. They thought he was going to be a player. No. He thought he was going to be a player. Once you got to get a guy who's in the league. Who can, oh, who's already in the league. He's already yeah. in the league. That's a great point. Yeah. And you know mm-hmm. what? They, they looked at Michael Sam as a tweener anyway. No, I'm with you on that. It's, yeah. it's not as if, you know... Everyone, you know, Mel Kuyper saying this guy is going to go between the second and the fourth round. Right. He was projected to go late anyway. Yeah. No, I, I, li- I like your point. Like, I mean, look, we can't control history. I like that Michael Sam was the first person in regards to his integrity, in regards to the way he handled it. Uh, he, he, I mean, his quotes are very passionate, but also very understandable and realistic. Uh, but yeah, no, you make a very good point. If someone in a perfect world, in a perfect world, it's it's Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers are the best players that do it, and they set the precedent. Uh, but we can't control that. The fact is, you still have to commend Sam for for the way he spoke and what he represented. It's just a shame for whatever reason that he hasn't played an NFL game. Last thought on that: What if, to your point, Eric, he had waited till after he was drafted and, and or made a team? Yeah. In September 14th, he point. says, sure. you know. I, I've heard it was coming out. I'm gay, and I, I understand there was pressure that it was the message was going to get out. He wanted to deliver right. it, but hindsight 2020. What if he had the p- time to yep. say September? Yeah. I think he's on an NFL roster, yeah, and that team, there, that team would have been in a lot of pressure. There's no way uh, he announces it and that team cuts him. That's right. a, that's a great point, and, and that leads me to this. I think Michael Sam showed more integrity than Borland did. Interesting. Yeah. Borland. Kind of knew he was going to oh, play maybe saying, one yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Sam, obviously knowing that he's gay, put it out there for everyone. I'll take my chances. He hurt his chances. I ju- right. He hurt his chances, but wa- wanted to say, I want to let you know where I am at. If you take me, great. If you don't, I'll try and work my way on a roster. Whereas Chris Borland right. was drafted, what, in the third round? Yeah. Yeah. If he would have come out and said, you know what? No. I, I might only want to play one year. Right. He might not have been drafted at all. No, you're abs- probably not. Why, why yeah. would you right. waste a pick on a guy who's literally going to give you one year right. at most and you don't even know if he's good enough to make your team at that point in time? Right. right. Um, with the Michael Sam thing, though, I, I'll just say, like, looking, well, history will look back and it's unfortunate that he hasn't played or whatever, but it. Like his impact on the league will be bigger than most actual players on the league, whether he plays or not, because of what he's already, if you will, accomplished as a, as, a, as a presence, as a speaker, as a motivator, and things like that. Like he will go down in history. It's just a shame that that. I mean, this is not apples and apples, but his apples and like something crazy. But uh, hip hop, some of the pioneers of hip hop, made no money. You know, these guys, these guys invented rap. Right. You know, the first stars, they made peanuts, and now the Jay-Z's of the world. So my guess is Michael Sam opens the door, a lot of integrity, sure gets the money dancing with stars, but doesn't get the NFL money and fame, right. but hopefully there will be P. Diddy's and Jay-Z's to come.